Hey, I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff, a show in which we try stuff for the first time. Today we have a very exciting episode because today is all about alcohol. So, in case you can't tell, today is Irish themed. We're doing our St. Patrick's Day cocktails. We are going to learn how to make the original Irish coffee. We are going to make our own homemade Baileys. Which I am so excited about. And then because we're going to have some whiskey and we'll have some Baileys, we'll have to try it out. We're going to try a cocktail that I found called Celtic Twilight, or it can be known as Nutty Irishman, I found too. Well, we'll get into that later. But let's get into the Irish coffee. Okay, so the first one we're gonna tackle is this Irish coffee, the original recipe. We found it, which really doesn't date back that far. It turns out 1942, I think is what it happened. Wow, really? Yeah, it, it's it's kind of a fascinating story. We'll link to the story of, it was created by a chef one night because a plane got turned around and they knew that they were gonna be cold and they were gonna be tired. And so he created this drink to serve to them when they got home, yeah. uh, when, they, when they landed. Anyway, so we're going to try to create this original recipe. First thing is you have to heat your glasses up. I've got boiling water, let's put that in here. Stand back, let's put my computer out of the way. Yeah, just in case this pops, cause these are cheap Ikea glasses here. Oh no, I did not know that. Yeah. Hot water in there. Okay, okay. Okay, let's let these warm up for a second and we'll brew the coffee. In a new coffee cup, cause Winchester broke one just now. Winchester's in trouble. Okay, fresh brewed coffee. Thank you, Winchester. Wait, you're gonna have to wait a second. I'll tell you when it's over. We're getting close. See, it's on its way down. We should be okay. Okay. We got our hot coffee. So dump these out. Okay. Don't boil yourself. We're gonna put two teaspoons of brown sugar in each glass. Okay. Two teaspoons of brown sugar and we're gonna pour in this coffee. So we're gonna stir this until the sugar is dissolved. A healthy portion of Irish whiskey. We're gonna use some Jameson. It's a healthy portion size. We can go more, but I think that's probably good just for, cause we wanna leave room for the cream. Do whatever you want to. You don't know me. Make some cream. They do know me. We're gonna try a little experiment here on whipping the cream. Cause I know that this works for making whiskey sour. So I'm gonna dry whip the cream and see if it is the right consistency. And then I don't explode it all over your kitchen. I'm going to stir with two hands at the same time. Don't over whip it. I'm not. But whip it real good. And now you're gonna pour it over a spoon the same way you do to keep oh, it. Oh yeah. Thank you for making a mess again. Oh, of course I, I did. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that worked. Oh, that worked that. well. Look at that! Oh, we found something cool. Do it! And it's supposed to end up looking like a Guinness. That's fantastic. That looks beautiful. And that's just heavy whipping cream. That's just heavy whipping cream that Tara shook for, what was that, oh, 10 seconds? 10 seconds, oh not even. Okay, I'm excited about this. Are you ready? Wait, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Wow, that's actually pretty good. That's Hi, Winchester. So good. Did you? The most of it's all that you're just getting that whole big thing of cream at uh -huh. first. Uh huh. Oh, that's oh. so good. Winchester, do you smell the cream? Yeah, mm. exactly. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, and now I got the whiskey. No, you can't have that. No, honey. He's being a brat today, as opposed to every other day. Oh, that's that is. Ooh, this is good. That is re that is the best one I've ever had. That's delicious. Oh yeah, and I like how the cream just keeps like, mm -hmm. oh, it like, it's texture, it's sweetness, it's a little bit of that bite. Yeah, normally I don't like Irish whiskeys because oh. their whiskey is too strong. Yeah. And like, Winchester, it's the cream, I'm telling you. Winchester, you're gonna have a cocktail with us? Hold on, let's do this really quick so we can get yeah. him out of the way. Winchester, Winchester, oh, come on, come on. Go over there and get it, come on. Yeah, come get it, leave Good us work. alone. All right. Normally I don't like Irish coffees because it's either too strong coffee or it's too strong whiskey. Yes. But this cream on the top does amazing oh. things. It's wonderful. This is so good. I think I probably could have could have stood to to, um, to stir mine a little bit more before. Oh, I mixed mine now. Yes. Do yes. this. Do, do this. this for St. Patrick's Day. Do this. This is do so this. important. Do this right now. Do this. I'm sure you have all the ingredients. Do this right now. Right now. 
Next cocktail. Let's go to the next one. So we're going to make our own Bailey's Irish cream. Or I guess we just call it Irish cream because it's not Bailey's brand anymore. Uh -huh. This this was, for me, the cornerstone of the episode. I'm so excited about this. I had homemade Bailey's Irish cream in Paris, and it was the best thing I've oh, ever had. Oh, did you? Oh my God, it was so good. This amazing bar there, Henry's. Go there, have their Bailey's, it's incredible. So this is um, a recipe I found from uh, As Easy As Apple Pie, and it's their Bailey's copycat. And it was the one that I found that I liked the best. One cup of heavy cream into the blender. Oh, I should have taken my lactate. <laughs> it's not too late. Hold, please. <laughs> you back? Mm -hmm. cool. Next, we're gonna go with a can of condensed sweet, condensed, sweetened condensed milk. Um, 14 ounces. I love sweetened condensed milk. Why don't milk. you hold that for a second and let that do its thing. Next, we're gonna use a cup and two thirds. A cup. A cup and two thirds of whiskey. That is a lot of whiskey. Oh, jeebus. My hand's shaky. That's not all, I have to put more. More! Cup and two thirds. Three tablespoons of chocolate syrup. I'm loving this Irish coffee. Seriously. This may not be my last. One teaspoon vanilla extract. You do this, because I will I will overspill and it and it will be dangerous. Vanilla will be everywhere. And then um, one teaspoon of instant coffee. That's all. Okay, 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 okay. Now all we have to do is we have to place the ingredients into the canister and blend until and blend until smooth. Put that on there. Okay. Okay, I don't know how to use this thing. Mix, liquefy, milkshake. How do I just turn it on? This is a pulse, let's see what that does. Whoa, blend! I was counting. <laughs> so, now that's it. Now you transfer it into a, hi Winchester, Get out of my shot! You're not in this episode! This is not about you! Okay, now we have to try to put this into a bottle. <laughs> I had an idea to make okay. a funnel. Okay. I wanna take a I wanna take a Ziploc baggie and cut the cut corner. Cut the tip out? And then just shove it kind of in there. Yeah, yeah. And see if that works. It's worth a try, right? Yeah. Let's just do a little bit. Okay. Tara's like, I have funnels, why didn't you ask me to bring one? And I said, because I'm not smart enough for that. Well, yeah, life's hard. So that is there. Now just go slow. Guys, I'm a freaking genius. That's a hack. Ooh, Natalie, I made a funnel. You but invented it. You hack. know what I thought of is when you do the piping for your yeah. icing. I was like, well, okay, can't you do that as a funnel? I mean, just definitely, there you go. We just made our own hack and I'm like, this is kind of a moment. Guys, please give me the uh, hackathon sound. Hackathon. So we just made our own homemade bailies. I put it in a Sazerac bottle because that was all I had. Um, we have to try this. Now for the test. Cheers. Dude, that's so good. That is so freaking good. That tastes so much like the one I had in Paris. It's oh my God. It's so good. It's all that chocolate syrup. <gasps> this is amazing. It's sweeter than, it's more chocolatey than Bailey's. More chocolatey, yeah. but again, do huh. this. <gasps> this is good. This is so worth the effort. Winchester. Again. <laughs> Could you please leave us alone? Winchester, I need you to I need you to move. He doesn't listen very well. Nudge. Okay. This is, this so, is good. so freaking good. Oh, that's I'm gonna go back good. and forth right here. I'm really sad I didn't bring an extra bottle so I could steal some and mm. take it home. We got one more thing to do. Ready? Next thing. So this last one, sorry, I'm excited. I have coffee and I have liquor in me. And right this now. is going <laughs> so well today. Like normally these kinds of uh, episodes don't necessarily end well. Our only issue is Winchester. <laughs> okay, so this last one, I went down, I was trying to find, sorry. Did you drink coffee today? He's so whiny, I love when he does that. He goes, mm. How many more? Yeah, he may, we may have a rogue one, but he's done. <laughs> You're the worst today. Uh, so I went down a rabbit hole. You little bastard. I can't, I can't even today. <laughs> Let's try, I'm gonna go. <laughs> We're gonna start drugging you with lavender again if you don't stop. Oh yeah, you're gonna get a collar. Maybe it's the word rabbit hole. 
<laughs> so, so I went down the hole trying to find a third thing for us to do in this video. I was looking up traditional cocktails, Irish cocktails, um, co things, uh, drinks from Ireland, etc. I did find a site from uh, Road Trippers that they had drink as the Irish do. And one of them was a drink called the Celtic Twilight, Celtic Twilight. I don't really know if I'm saying that word, which way I'm supposed to say it. But when I look up the ingredients, it's being referred to as a nutty Irishman everywhere else. So I don't know if this is a real thing, but it gives us the opportunity to use our homemade Baileys. So we're gonna go for it. It's a super simple drink. It is one part Frangelico, one part Jameson, one part Baileys. So simple. Over ice. I wanna mention this uh, homemade Baileys, you can store it for up to two months in the fridge. Just make sure you shake it again before you use it next time. The Nutty Irishman is actually Frangelico and Baileys in a layered shot is some of the ways I've seen it, but I haven't found this Celtic, Celtic Twilight anywhere else. So Irish friends, if you know what the hell this is, let us know. This is gonna be, I think it's gonna be sweet. Cheers, friend. That's divine. That's really good. That's heavenly. I thought it was gonna to be too sweet because our Bailey's is so sweet, but like, but the whiskey, yeah, the cuts whiskey it. and the frangelica, the, the little bit of hazelnut nut bite that it's got, kind of like. I want to remind everyone that there is almost two cups of whiskey in this. It's Ooh. amazing that we're still standing. All this cream, all this sugar, and all this whiskey. I took some lactate, and I'm finishing all these. Which one's my favorite? I don't know. I can't. I, kinda, I think I like the Irish coffee the best. I mean, for more uh, on more occasions, could yeah, I do this? I would drink this more often. But this, I'm really yeah, proud of how this, this turned the, out. This is our homemade Bailey's. Yeah, I mean, it's a toss up. I do like this cocktail, but like this cocktail, this cocktail's decent. I could have yeah. one. Yes, you know, it's decent. I'm glad we tried it. It's really good. But like, man. Irish coffee for the win. Go down below, get the link, make this drink. It's and let us know really good. All about it. If you have an old school cocktail recipe you would like us to try, let us know in the comment section below because we're game. Oof, always. This has been fun, so uh -huh. I'm feeling very emboldened. And we're gonna keep drinking, but my name is Tara. I'm Natalie. And this was Natalie and Tara Try Stuff. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Yay! I love St. Patrick's Day. Ooh, whiskey.